guys how's going on my name is lewis and god bless every single one of you today is june 20 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert multiple agency experts are sounding the alarm and are we talking about nyc here on high alert we have more breaking news updates. Look at this here. Ooh. Wow. Seattle Police Department plans to hire. Uh oh. Yeah, the new ones coming from the southern regions as police officers after losing 705 years. Ay, 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 ay. All right, so East Coast, West Coast. All right, it's going to be these two uh, breaking news. All right, so uh, usually I have a whole bunch, but uh, it's been a slow night. Um, so uh, we're going to focus on these two. West Coast, Seattle, they're going to be hiring. And it's not going to be sleeping giant citizens. It's going to be uh, those that's coming from the southern region. Man, man, man. This hurts. It does. It does. It hurts. I mean, this is uh, this is supposed to be the sleeping giant. We don't hire, uh, especially those that came in. And you guys already know. I don't want to say the word because uh, I got suspended multiple times. But uh, wow, <laughs> man, look out! Sleeping giant is taking over. Uh, excuse me. The sleeping giant is take uh, is being taken over by us. Uh, certain groups that's coming from other regions. Alright guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Man, this is where we at. All right, we're going to go with... Uh, yeah, we're going to go with NY, okay? And uh, you guys already know, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we talked about the 19 uh, NYPD uniforms that has gone missing. And not only that, the walkie-talkie and uh, scanners gone missing and other stuff too. And now the agency, when I say agency, I'm talking about the F. B, I'm not saying the last letter, and the C, I, I'm not saying that last letter either. So those agencies are sounding the alarm. Something big is going to happen in the rotten apple. Oh, what do you expect? Uniforms are missing. Walkie-talkies are missing. They're going to be hiring 700 from different, again, those that came from the southern region. <sighs> Who's responsible? Well, the guy that's running the Sleeping Giant, the 4-6, J-O-E. So um, be prepared, Sleeping Giant. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we're going to see a 2.0 of 2001. And it's going to be a lot crazier. So it says here the warning of major uh, event taking place on the Sleeping Giant soil is at a high level with big city like the Rotten Apple. And DC most vulnerable to a huge strike of these uh, experts a warning Man. guys I never seen these uh, agency put out so much warning <laughs> man they are really sounding the alarm it's been over 23 years since nearly 3,000 you guys already know what happened that 2001 I was in New Jersey I was in, uh, yeah, I was in high school, Passaic, Passaic High School. And you guys know 
uh, Patterson and all those regions and uh, Union City. It's not too far uh, from New York. You can actually go in one of the the top project buildings and uh, go on the roof. And, and yeah, we saw the smoke. We saw that smoke from a distance. All right. So, but even though surveillance and airport security has been beefed up, come on. But the doors in the southern region are open. Forget about the airport. They're coming through the, the southern region. <laughs> Man, the world has changed considerably since then. Yes, the world has uh, changed. And the minds of those in the spotlight running this land has also changed. And their minds changed to a different culture. The abomination stuff. So technology has become cheaper and more advanced. The internet is lightning fast. And a sleeping giant's sudden doors means millions upon millions and millions and millions and millions are coming in from all over the world. Are now living among the general population and continue to pour in at record rates. It's a matter of time. All right. So they were given not to do anything. They were given order not to do anything yet. Ooh, there's a picture down here. I can show that picture. It's a picture. You guys know what happened. Oh, one, right? The two stones. Well, I can't show them. All right. So it says here, we are in a period where a number of factors are combining to make a T event on the homeland far more likely than perhaps had been. Once again, you have Paul, a retired NYPD inspector who worked at the counter T for nearly 15 years. Follow me with the code words here, guys. I don't want to say certain words here. I got suspended multiple times, so please bear with me. Once again, Paul said that the uh, warning of a potential new event should be assessed in a context who has the means, motive, and opportunity to successfully execute a huge event the world has gotten a lot smaller since you guys know 23 years ago you got drones the interconnectivity of the internet is more well advanced into areas that maybe that uh, didn't have that connectivity you can get an uplink using something like Elon satellite you can get online from the mountains of the Hindu Kush, you got AI capability. You have all that time to develop capability since 23 years ago. If you are still in that type of business. Hmm. Basically, we have uh, a lot of stuff. Very powerful technologies. It says here, Paul said that the warning will likely emanate from current hotspots around the globe, including the Mid-E, where Persia is a live warning and is still seeking revenge. Well, not only because of the take out that person, but also multiple ones. All right, so Pers uh, Persia General, who was taken out in well, four years ago. And that was under the 45th Donald. He he gave that green light. So those angered by the Holy Land response to the October event in the Strip also posed a real warning. As those, excuse me, as does a nuclear capable, the bear which has been battling against a sleeping giant funded uh, regime in the UKR, Paul said. So basically, the things that's happening in the world, I mean, all this is just boiling up, it's heating up, and something big is going to hit the fan. It's not hard to see motives all over the place, motives that uh, pre-existed 23 years ago, and that continue and have only been exacerbated. Mm. Paul said the opportunity for these group lies at the southern region. Man. 
I try to keep my cool. You know, as a Christian, we have, you know, turn the other cheek. But I have this righteous anger when we see lawlessness, leaving the doors open, knowing that, uh, you know, we were promised that we come first and a sleeping giant will be protected. We were lied to, man. You got four, six, eating all these type of ice cream and leaving the doors in the southern region open. Saying everything is going to be fine. We let 10 to 20 million in. Oh, my goodness, man. 10 to 20 million in. <laughs> Into the sleeping giant with little or no vetting. Oh. I don't know how people could still go for the four six. I mean, I'm trying to figure out these people, to be honest. Man, uh it's a carnard to think that they're all just from small towns in those regions or something, Paul says. We've seen a wave of these groups developing now. But you will have to be a fool not to take advantage of the ability to insert assist uh, seriously and with no friction into the sleeping giant homeland through the southern region. If you're sitting where Persia is, where the red dragon is, or where the bear is, Paul said that the eight of those uh, citizens with ties to ISIS, who were recently nabbed, having el allegedly crossed the southern region, was an enormous red, F-L-A-G. Yes, that's true. That means that we need to close the doors. But the problem here is that the 4-6 still have those doors open. They coming to California. They coming in another region, but not Texas. They coming from other uh, regions. It's like this, guys. You know, you try to stop a leak, right? You, you know, you stop the leak. You pass the PVC pipe. Yeah! But then the water is coming to your bedroom. It's like, it seems like under the ground, the pipe might have burst. So you could seal Texas. But that water is going to come somewhere, either Arizona, California. It's just going to keep coming. Unless we have a true sleeping giant leader that knows how to do his job. Once again, um, this is a big warning that uh, those group ties to ISIS who were recently nabbed having allegedly crossed the southern. All right, so once again, guys, they're putting out the info. They're saying that NY, NY is going to be the one. You have some multiple agency here you have former ci you know who also sounded off in recent foreign affairs op-ed writing that the t group posed by vulnerabilities at the sleeping giant in that land sudden is blinking red once again christopher ray has been he's been sounding the alarm here and the sleeping giant uh central command satcom all these uh, agencies said they are serious. They are very, very, very serious. A uh, warning posed by the T groups like those ISIS and others, also known as the, I'm going to skip their name there, guys. Follow me on this one. Follow me on this one. Forces under that group here, uh, command have been battling ISIS in multiple countries. All right, so we're going to skip some of this here. So once again, these are the groups here, guys. I'm going to skip some of them. All right, so let me just highlight it. Here we go. If you guys want to pause and just read the rest. Uh, again, like I said, certain ones I'm just going to try to avoid. I don't want to get hit hard by the platform. Um, so, again, uh, these are very, very, very powerful groups that are coming into the Sleeping Giant. Once again, Christopher, meanwhile, told a Senate uh, earlier this month that there is an increase in concern about some kind of event similar to the one that happened in the Bear Capital. All right, so we already know that just in time 
the I ban, the FB, you know who, uh, we disrupted multiple T strikes in cities and communities around the la uh, country, Christopher said, while making his case on the department request of $11.3 billion fiscal year 2025, I believe, or $661 million more than last year. Wow. Wow. Uh, that means it's time to close the doors, man. <laughs> close the doors. Got to close the doors. Got to close it. Man, it costs a lot of money now to uh, keep the sleeping giant safe. <laughs> man. It costs a lot of money now. Christopher went on to say that the FB, you know what, has seen a roguish gallery of these groups, organization called for strike. On the sleeping giant and his facility, or ally, excuse me. Given those calls for action, our most immediate concern has been that individuals or small groups would draw a twisted inspiration from the event in the Mideast to carry out strike here at home, Christopher said. But now, on top of all that, increasingly concerning is the potential for a coordinated strike here in the homeland. Attorney General also sounded the alarm earlier this month, a potential T-strike warning before the... Okay, I'm going to skip that one there, guys. So again, you have all these agency, you have all these experts, you have everyone just sounding the alarm here. This is some serious stuff. These are experts. Paul said that the rotten apple and DC remain the top two areas where T's are likely to strike, with several other densely packed cities also next on the list. There has to be consequences to the 4-6. There has to be punishment for the 4-6. If something hits the fan, the 4-6 should be held responsible for leaving the doors open. But nah... Ain't nothing gonna happen to him. But, man, I I love this one here. Scripture says, God said, leave revenge to me. We're gonna leave that in God's hand. God will take care of business. God would deal with all of them. From the very beginning, from Adam and Eve to our time, all those in the spotlight, all of them in the spotlight, every single one of them in the spotlight, they're going to have to answer to the Father in heaven. And we don't wish any, you know, bad things. We pray that they repent. We do. We pray that they repent. But if they don't repent, if they don't receive a new heart like King Nebuchadnezzar, if the 4-6 does not repent, he can't call, he can't tell God, Hey God, can I call Nancy? Yeah, Nancy. Oh, you already spoke to her? Where's she at? <gasps> you mean she's down there? I'm, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I, I'm just messing around that part. I pray that she repents. I pray that many, many repent. But the way they're going and the things that they're dealing with, uh, you know, lying and stuff like that, to many, it's, it's not good. They're holding the position of power. And for them to deceive many, you guys already know uh, all of them, have been doing again we're not blind we see i pray that they repent if they don't repent there ain't gonna be no kingdom of heaven pearly gates opening up all right so once again guys it seems like uh, the rotten apple is gonna be the biggest one ndc Never mind a real atomic BOMB that you could get. Let's say Hellsbo buys it on the black market from some KG you know who or something sells it into a harbor and detonates. It was always the nighttime scenario, but what punches at a higher weight is the kind of attempts that we've seen around the world employing biochem agents. And it really is the nighttime scenario. 
I mean, look at the damage the 2020 did. So, if you could manage to set off that kind of thing in an enclosed area in a train station or on other areas, you got a serious, 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 serious event. And that's one of the things that the kind of tea folks that I used to be a part of worry about all the time and work to prevent. All right. So the ones that we should be keeping an eye on, it seems like Seattle is going to give them jobs. You want to be a cop? <laughs> Man. The city of Seattle is looking to fill the depleted ranks of its blue department with the new ones. You know, the same ones that uh, we should be worried about. Uh, who, as young ones, enter the land illegally. Give me a second here. There were young ones. It's not like the ones that j just recently came in a few years ago. It seems like these are the ones that were young that came in. Or possibly, possibly maybe their parents, you know, the mom gave birth here. And um, they are more of a, a better understanding, put it like that. They're much more understanding when it comes to uh, sleeping giant citizenship. So give me a second here. You have the, but it's still, you know, everything got to be in proper document. It has to be legit. I mean, you can't go to the club with a fake ID, right? You, you can't. You can't. The bouncer is going to look at that. I Nope. Fake ID. Cut it. You can't come in here. You can't. But they're letting people through the southern region so I can't come in a club. No. <laughs> Man. But it says here, Seattle Blue Department is now accepting application from the ACA recipients. Reads a post last week on the Seattle Blue Department. And it says uh, deferred action for, I'm going to skip that name, the ACA. Oftentimes known as the ACA are the young ones who enter the sleeping giant illegally. As young ones and have since taken advantage of DACA policy on the 44th program that allows qualifying uh, the ability to defer action on deportation and gain work authorization in the sleeping giant. Hmm. 700 left Seattle. I guess that was the plan. Get rid of the sleeping giant citizen. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. And let's start a new world in Seattle that's being run by the new ones. They don't know anything about the sleeping giant constitution. This is going to be our new sleeping giant land. But first, let's get rid of the COPS. They left. They left. They left during the 2020. You guys already know what happened in 2020. And then uh, the Rotten Apple, you guys know what happened in that time. Uh, so many of them left to Texas. Many of them are here in Florida. So it says here, to qualify under the DACA program, recipients must have come to the Sleeping Giant before their 16th birthday and lack legal authorization to live in the Sleeping Giant. Despite Program recipients being authorized to work in the Sleeping Giant, they have typically been unable to enter jobs in law enforcement and qualification for Seattle Blue Force, previously noting that an applicant had to be a Sleeping Giant citizen. I mean, that's the law. <laughs> it's common sense. You have to be a Sleeping Giant citizen. A lawful permanent resident. DACA recipients also face restriction on the ability to carry... G-U-N, and other stuff. Now, here's the thing, guys. The Sleeping Giant, anybody could come to the Sleeping Giant. You just have to do it legal. I mean, just imagine 40 million Sleeping Giant citizens going into Central and South America, and then retaking 
They're J-O-B-S. They're not going to like it there. They're not going to like it. They're going to say, no, this is our land. This is our home. You know, when I went to Puerto Rico, when I was like, I think, eight or nine, Little Louis, you know, only spoke, uh, well, I did speak both uh, both language. And uh, I went to Puerto Rico and uh, I met this kid named Edwin. And Edwin uh, spoke English. And so I'm like, Edwin, man, you know, we could be good friends. Everybody here speaks Spanish. I don't know what, you know, I don't know where we at right now. <laughs> so, so we went to uh, to school, right? And uh, we again, we talk in English. And then you have uh, all these uh, Puerto Ricans saying, hey, this is not America. You don't speak that language here. This is uh this is Puerto Rico. You speak Spanish. You don't come here and try to change everything around. So, again, um, and by the way, uh, I did uh, respond back saying that this is a uh, U.S. territory, and you have U.S. money. So no, I could speak English here. <laughs> so, uh, it was a huge. Uh, I had a really bad experience in the island. But, uh, anyways. You know, you cannot just go to certain lands and just take over like that. You know, but uh, sadly, uh, it's happening here. You have millions coming and, you know, they're giving them J-O-B-E, J-O-B-S. They're giving them a lot of stuff. Free handouts. In return, don't bite the hand that feeds you. In return, we expect you to... V-O-T-E for Joey, Joey, Joey. So that's how it is. You know, that's, you know, it's all, it's all about, uh, at the very end, it's all about November. You know, feed them good and give them good stuff and they're going to, you know, they're going to go for you. I mean, this is a guaranteed list that just came out for this November. California, blue. <sighs> N-Y. Blue. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. They're saying it's a guarantee. It's blue. It's going to be L-E-F-T. I don't know how is that possible. You know how many of those NY citizens, they don't like the L-E-F-T. They want a change. Same thing with Cali. All them tents and everything. I mean, I just don't... But uh, again, guys, uh, all this system, you guys already know, it's not a fair game. All right, so... Previously noting that an applicant had to be a sleeping giant citizen. All right, so we so we already know that. However, the restriction on DACA recipients carrying GUN was disputed by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and all that uh, ATF during a similar move by LA authorities last year, with the sleeping giant uh, department clarifying in a February letter. That it is an ATF position that DACA recipients may also possess. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, they may, oh, oh, oh. they may also possess uh, firearms. How's that? I thought the Constitution was only for the sleeping giant citizens, not those that come uh, jumping, you know, into the sleeping giant. Isn't a constitution for sleeping giant citizens? I'm just, I'm just saying, no one is above the law, right? Chuck and Nancy, they're right. No one is above the law. It says here, the path further clear for DACA recipient to enter the ranks of the blue department earlier this year with the DC Wash uh excuse me Seattle Washington legislator passing SB the 6157 which reformed state laws to allow the ACA recipient to apply for civil service position the legislation was signed by wow can't believe that person still go for that region in March and went into effect last week. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with those that live out there on the West Coast. Why are they still going for the LEFT? It says here the new legislation was seemingly welcome news for the department, which, according to 
a KUOW report in April, had lost 725 officers over the last five years. That left the city with uh, just 913 trained officers. The report noted its lowest staffing since the 1990s. You guys know what happened in Seattle back in uh, 2020. You guys know what happened. I mean, you had uh, the BL, you know who, and then you had Antif. They took over that region. They took over that city. They literally took over that city. I remember, guys, I don't forget nothing. I don't forget nothing. You guys know what happened in Seattle. I mean, they took that region. I mean, the precinct. I mean, everything. And then you had that mayor or gov, whatever that person is, allowed it to happen. And that was during, uh, during some very, very harsh time. It was in the summer. I mean, it's, the 4 or 5 was the leader back then. I mean, that's when the COPS, that's when they left and say, no, nah, we out of here. If we can't cuff them, we can't do nothing. I mean, what's the point of staying here? And again, that's the reason why they left. And now we know why. So they could be replaced. DACA recipients will now be able to help fill that void with the department updating its qualification guidelines last week to reflect the change. An applicant must hold a sleeping giant citizenship or have a legal permanent residency in a sleeping giant or be a deferred action for, I'm going to skip that, DACA, the Seattle Blue Department job qualification page now reads. The Seattle Department did not immediately respond to the news for comments. Well, 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 that is where we at. Mm -hmm. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy. And by the way, look at this. <clears throat> Study and Sleeping Giant. 18 million Sleeping Giant citizens are house poor. Poor. We are number eight on the list for the poorest out there. I mean, how in the world are we in number eight? We are the sleeping giant, the most powerful in the world. And we are number eight when it comes to homeless? <sighs> Millions of sleeping giant homeowners spend over 30% of their income on housing. Look at that, Cali. <laughs> you man, you buy a house in California, one bedroom, one bathroom for like eight hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> man, Woo! wow! I don't know how people still go for L E F T. Meanwhile, here in the state of Florida, you could get a four bedroom, seventeen, eighteen hundred square foot. Um, for like at least a good twenty uh, two hundred twenty five thousand, maybe two hundred eighty thousand. By the way, it comes with a pool. Once again, Cali, Hawaii, the rotten apple, have the highest number of house poor residents. While Virginia, I've been to West Virginia. Oh my goodness. There's so many abandoned houses out there. Just bought it up. So Indiana, Arkansas, have the fewest. Inflace. Thank you, Mr. Baron, for a six for that. The inflace, the high home prices, a steep mortgage rates contribute to this trend. Who is responsible for that inflation? Who's responsible for that? Well, who's running the sleeping giant? Who's running the sleeping giant? It's the four six. He's responsible for that. <sighs> oh, by the way, the four six is in the lead. The four five is behind him by three points. We are living in a twilight zone. We are definitely in the last days. In the last 
days. The sleeping giant, we already know that, is heating up, and with five months until VOTES are counted, this is where we at. <coughs> this is basically a prediction. This is where we are right now. It's not the real one, but uh, all right. So you have uh, the red is at two hundred thirty-five electoral, and uh, you have the blue at two hundred twenty-five. The seventy-eight toes up, toes up, VOTES will likely decide the winner. Uh, Yeah, we're going to skip all this. It's too early. Way too early. Majority of the Sleeping Giant citizens support of sending them back home. <laughs> wow. Over 50% are in favor of sending them back, back home, including 42 <laughs> Of the LEFT. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's a big number. That is a big number. From the LEFT. They want to send them all back. They want to send them all back. Wow, look at this. What in the world? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the last one. You have all these uh, weird names, Boomer and... Uh, hey, one day we're going to enter that new world. We don't have to see none of this type of stuff. I mean, my, 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 my goodness. All right, guys. So this is all the information. Yeah, this is all the information here. If you can, uh, please share the video. And I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Again, thank you so much for um, sharing the video. And thank you so much for subscribing. Give me a second here. Is there another red folder? During uh, Vlad and the Red Dragon leader meeting, there were no statements to the press. And only one photo was released to the public. The red folders. Oh, there's another red folder. And for those of you that missed my video about the red folders of North K and the bear, you may want to check that video out. These red folders are very extremely important, but not too many people want to know it. Uh, for those of you that are watching this video, these red folder means uh, let's say the bear gets hit, the red dragon will join the biblical war. This is like Article 5 for NATO. You guys already know NATO, right? If one of them get hit, that means that all members of NATO will come together and they will strike the enemy. Well, these are the red folders. The bear has one. The Red Dragon has one. North K has one today. And North K was given some very important presents. A space satellite uh, equipment that it could strike the sleeping giant with N-U-K-E-S. You may want to check it out. It's called... The red folders so again these are very important videos I'm posting guys all the links will be in the comments box 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.